Hey guys, I'm Nate, welcome back to the workshop. We love having comment requests from you guys for ideas of what we should do, and we have a request here from Matthew DeRosset. Matthew asks, what happens if you put whipped cream or beaten egg whites in a vacuum chamber? Would they turn back into regular cream and egg whites respectively? Well, Matthew, we think that's an excellent question, so today we're going to try out both of those things. We'll take some heavy cream and turn that into whipped cream, then we'll take some egg whites and beat that until we have a meringue. Then we'll see what happens if we pull as much air out as we can and see if they return to their regular unwhipped state. Let's start by whipping up some cream. Most of the time when you're making whipped cream, you do add sugar to it to make it taste a little sweeter. But because we want to see if our whipping cream returns to normal after being whipped, inflated, and deflated in a vacuum chamber, I'm not gonna add any sugar to this one so we can see how close it is to the regular unchanged whipping cream. There we have it, we have our whipped cream in a bowl and it has been filled with air to the point that it is no longer even a liquid. Now let's take some of this, scoop it off into our vacuum chamber and see what happens when we depressurize whipped cream. I'm not really sure how much of this to put in. I don't know how much it will expand and I don't want it to go so high that I have to turn off the vacuum pump. Let's try starting with just a nice little glob, not the whole bowl full, and see what happens when we depressurize it. It's alive! That's certainly growing quite a bit. Oh boy. It still might be too much. That was enough to fill the whole chamber all the way. Several times. <laughs> wow. I thought the cake batter expanded a lot. It's got nothing on this. That's gonna look so cool when we add food coloring. I think it had just started to break before I opened the valve a little that last time. There we go. Well, that looks kind of disgusting in there right now. It doesn't look like whipped cream and it doesn't look like unwhipped cream. It's just sort of this mass of, it looks kind of like plastic sheets got melted on the walls. Okay, so I'll turn it off, open this up and let some pressure back in. There we go, repressurized. First impressions, I'm gonna say that has not turned back into regular whipping cream. I don't know what that is, but it's not regular whipping cream. All right, so when I have a larger amount of it together on the spatula, it is a little more liquid, definitely more liquid than whipped cream. Tastes about the same, unsurprisingly. Um, I feel like some of the milk fat may have started to change form, not so much that it started turning into butter, but something is different about it. See what happens if I just scrape all of it, as much as I can, into sort of one spot. Give it an opportunity to pool a little bit. All right, we do have a liquid here. It looks like it's still maybe a little thicker than just the normal cream. I'm wondering if there's still some air in it, and now that we've gathered it all in one spot, we can pull more out. So let's try turning the vacuum chamber back on and sucking any additional remaining air out of our little pool of cream. Here goes. So it is expanding, so there's definitely still some air inside that blob. In fact, it's expanding quite a bit, so I guess there was a lot of air still inside that blob. It's tough to suck all of the air out of something. That looks gross. Well, it's still bubbling and popping a lot, and I kind of want to just let it run until that bubbling and popping is mostly stopped, because I think that's when we'll have most of the air pulled out of our cream. If it takes too long though, I'm just gonna turn it off. All right, this is still bubbling at about the same rate as it was like three minutes ago. I think at this point we're just boiling the liquid inside the cream. So let's just let the pressure out and see how liquidy our cream has returned to being. Stops bubbling as soon as I turn off. I haven't even put any pressure back in, but as soon as I turned off the vacuum, it stopped bubbling.
Oh, look at that, it's running. It's already running as a liquid. I don't know, I think that looks pretty much just like cream. We may have done it. We may have just returned whipped cream to an unwhipped state. It tastes like cream. It looks like cream. Well, that's really cool. But my favorite part of that is how much the whipped cream expanded. And we didn't really get to see its full potential because this container was too small. So let's try using the larger jar and maybe a tiny bit less whipped cream and see if we can still get a tiny bit of cream to fill the whole jar. It looked like it was about to do that. And that's awesome. There we go. I've got a little cup full of our whipped cream. Now let's add just a little bit of food coloring because I think this will be even cooler in color. Let's just add a couple of drops of red and gently mix it in. All right, three. The larger chamber, of course, does take longer to depressurize, so it's gonna go a little bit slower, but it's definitely growing. Is it gonna break? Is, is it gonna break? Oh, I have to add, nope, nope. I didn't add any pressure back. That was it, it's like hollow on the inside of this. It's just completely gone. <laughs> that was great. That was great, look at this. That was the most expansive thing we've ever put in a vacuum chamber, I'm pretty sure. I thought the cake batter was good. This, well, it takes the cake. It takes the cake from cake. That was beautiful. I'm touched. All right, let's add pressure back in, see what happens. Didn't change a whole lot. Yep, that's sort of creamy. It's a little bit liquid. I bet we could combine this together and pull out a little bit more air, but we've already tried that. We know what happens. Now I just wanna see more whipped cream expanding. Let's try more colors. All right, here goes marbled yellow and blue whipped cream. And plop, falls to the bottom. That's great. Delightful. There you have it, whipped cream in a vacuum chamber. When you pull out all of the air, it actually does a pretty good job of returning to normal cream. It seems like it's about the same consistency, it tastes the same, so I think that one kind of works. Now let's try the same experiment using whipped egg whites, also known as meringue. There we go, egg whites from six eggs. I don't make meringue much, so I don't know how much this is gonna make. I feel like it's gonna be way more than I need. Guess we'll find out. All right, we're gonna call that good. I think they might actually be able to beat even more till they're even more full of air and a little bit stiffer and shinier but I'm also pretty sure that egg whites can break if you beat it too much. And since I am not a baking expert, I don't want it to break and have to start over. So right now it's pretty stiff. It's not very liquid. We're gonna try this. I bet it'll work really well. Now the egg whites did expand more than the whipping cream. So I'm kind of wondering if they're going to do the same thing in the vacuum chamber. I almost want to start with an even smaller amount of the meringue. Well, yeah, let's just let's try about this much. See how it turns out. All right, here goes. And it is growing. And it's holding a shape. It kind of looks like a little ghost or something like, I'm a big ghost now. I can see some bubbles on the surface starting to pop already. <sighs> Broken. Nowhere near the expansion of whipped cream. So while it had a lot of air in it, I wonder if it had so much that it meant all of the walls holding in the bubbles were extra thin. Far from done moving, but it didn't grow very much. I think I'm gonna kill this.
I've killed the vacuum for the moment and I want to try this same experiment in the smaller chamber because it pulls the air out of that much faster. I think we'll have better luck getting our meringue to reduce back down to egg white in there. Here it goes. Three, two, one. Yeah, it just starts growing so much faster in this chamber. It just sort of tears itself apart. I don't think it's expanding, it just has air trapped underneath it, and so it's just lifting the whole blob at once. Okay, let's try adding the pressure back. Well, that to me looks, I mean, it's the same color as the egg white. The whiter parts here floating around. I think they're that little tail that attaches the yolk to the egg white. We had some of that floating around in there. I think it's just a little bit more liquid because we've beaten it half to death with a beater. It doesn't really have any of the connections holding it together that it did before. It's kind of returned to an egg white state. Not bad. Well, there you have it. Whipped cream and whipped egg whites in a vacuum chamber. We pull out all of the air and they kind of return to their unwhipped state. The egg whites have a very different texture and I think that's because we broke up the bonds that were holding together the albumin with our egg beater, but the whipped cream actually seemed to return to about how it started, which I thought was pretty cool. Thank you, Matthew DeRosset, for your idea. Check your YouTube inbox, we're sending you 25 bucks. If you've got any ideas of things you wanna see us try on the show, let us know down in the comments. If we use your idea, we'll send you $25. Thanks guys for joining us for this video and remember to come gear yourself up with products and merch at thekingofrandom.com. See you there. New experiment, we get a box. It goes around my arm and the bowl and we fill it with helium. It's airtight bowl box. Fill it with helium and then we whip it so that it's full of helium and not air and we make a meringue that literally floats and it floats, it's not gonna work guys, don't, it won't. I'm going to crack one egg and then I'm going to put a whole egg in the vacuum chamber. I'll pull a vacuum and we'll see if anything happens to either of them. Well, now quite a few bubbles inside the egg mixture are expanding out. Ooh, delightful. What's up guys, Grant here. I'm just working behind the scenes on some important stuff. Keep supporting Nate, he's the man and he's bringing back all the DIY that you've been asking for.